what's going on guys and welcome back to the ghouls gaming and tech channel again we have another banger i let you guys know when i got this device and i unboxed it did my review all that good stuff i let you guys know that there are going to be tons and when i say tons i mean tons of videos as always we have spidey in the building he is my co-host on this here ghouls gaming and tech channel and he's also a very strict timekeeper he likes to make sure these videos are pretty short and we get you guys from point a to point B as quick as possible. These are all the tips and tricks with the S Pen. For reference, we have the older model S Pen here just to show you guys that both of these work on this device. So throughout this video, I'm just gonna be switching between both of them just to let you guys know there is a seamless transition between both of these S Pens. This is not the Pro S Pen, the Samsung S Pen. This is just the standard one that came with the Galaxy Z Fold. If you enjoyed this content by the end of the video and you're new to the channel, you gotta hit that subscribe button. And also if you enjoyed it, by the end of the video, if you're new or returning, make sure you hit that like button because it it's definitely appreciated. All you have to do is bring an S Pen to the forefront, press this little button here close to the screen, and you will get this icon right here with the S Pen. So you click on that and it will give you all of the S Pen options and also you can add more options if you didn't already pre-select all the options that you could put. You have the settings right here with the S Pen. So if you wanna change certain things, you can make that happen. So you have air actions right here, basically, the S Pen Pro. Again, we do not have the S Pen Pro, so we are going to ignore that. This is for the S Pen Pro in particular. You have air commands. Basically, I have it standard here so I can see the menu uh, pretty clearly because if you select compact, it would just show you the icons. And if you're super familiar with the phone and these S Pen icons, then this one might be for you. But to me, I like to see what these icons are. As you can see, they show up with the text of what they are right here not just the icon. So I prefer that, that's just me. You don't have to do that. Again, you have your shortcuts right here. These are just the options of what you could put on that S Pen menu. So I have everything selected except coloring, magnify, glance, and write on calendar. I don't really need these other ones that I don't have selected. You can also put any app that you want there, but I figure that's kind of pointless. You can just put those apps on your edge panel. Show air command icon. So that's basically this little icon right here. So yes, I do want to show that. If I turn that off, it disappears. And then open air command with S Pen button. Like you saw already, I just pressed the button and it showed up. So if I tap it right now, close to the screen, you have those options. Let's get right down to these S Pen options. So we're going to switch out really quick just to show you that both of them work. So I'm pressing the, uh, the action button on this S Pen and as you can see, it's working. First things first, you can create a note. So if I tap on here, I can create a note really quick and it makes like a writing noise, which I love. You can choose to turn that, um, that writing noise off but I like it on because it kind of feels like it's an S Pen. You have a note feature on here. I want to feel like I'm actually like writing like a legit note. Pretty self-explanatory. Once you create it, it will be saved to your gallery if you choose to do so. But also with create a note, you can, you, you have many settings right here. You can change the title of it. Uh, you can pull up an actual keyboard. Uh, there you go right here. And you can write on the keyboard and it will translate it into text right there. So let's go back really quick. Let's write my name. Let's see how well this works. Brand done. And there you go. So as you write right here, it will translate it to note. So if you're thinking, which most of you probably are, if, 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 if you want to write something and then translate it to text, you might as well just type it. I agree, that's true. But is it nice to have that option? It is very nice to have that option. So you can make this kind of float, oh, sorry. You can make this kind of float, move this around as you see fit. You can uh, minimize it right there, put it right as an icon right there. You can also expand it to a full note and then there you go, you have that right there. So I'm gonna exit out of this and then there's an option, wait, there we go. I'm gonna exit out of this and as you can see, this is like a little page option right here. You can add attachments, you have your three dots right here. You can add split screen if you like to put another app in. You can press this to kind of get rid of some of those options, but I like having those options there. So 
we're gonna leave that present and then also this right here you can change the transparency of that note app all right you can view all notes that's pretty self-explanatory you click that it will just show you all the notes so i'm not going to bore you guys with that and the next one is smart select so just for reference we're going to uh youtube and then say i want to say someone said hey i want to know the best gameplay and visual settings for call or not for call of duty for god of war ragnarok i'm like oh i'm a youtuber i have that video so basically i would uh do this right here smart select i would show them uh, let's see how big do i want it and you can adjust it you can do it doesn't have to be square it can be circle whatever the case is this is basically a screenshot i could share it to them i could write on it if i want to i could say this one this one with a little arrow oh my writing is horrible right now but yeah you can do that you can save it you can share it i just saved it just then um but yeah you can send that that way and then smart select also has um like free form options right here so if i want to smart select this stuff that is how it's going to show why would somebody smart select something like that i don't know but you can also pin this to screen so i can keep scrolling and whatever i smart select it will be pinned to my screen so if i need something for reference i can pin this however i see fit and it's a great option to have and you can also download that you can minimize it so on and so forth so all right next option on the s pin list is screen right so essentially you click on that it will take a screenshot of your screen and basically you can write on your screen so it's kind of similar to smart select but it's going to screenshot the entire screen so you can send that to whoever you want again you can like make memes out of it you can write on it you can erase stuff uh, you can go forward backward share and download so again that's pretty self-explanatory as well next option on the list is live messages so say you have someone else with a samsung device or whatever the case is or say i want to show them spider-man so let's take a picture of uh, spider-man really quick we have a picture of Spider-Man. So you can draw on here, you can select your, your, your pin type. And again, this is, you know, let me not disrespect Spider-Man. Let me not disrespect him. Let me draw a heart, cause this is my boy. And then let's do this one as well. Let's draw another heart, cause that's my boy. And then this one right here, let's draw a heart on top of the heart. So these are live messages that you can see. You have the animation right here. It will download or send as an MP4. You can change the colors. You can change the transparency, the size of it. Is it kind of gimmicky? I don't think so. I do not think this feature is gimmicky at all because there's actually some use for it. And then you can play it to kind of see what you've created so far. So you can take a picture, you can have color, but you can draw on here as well. Um, so yes, yeah, start drawing. You just select whatever you, you want, start drawing. You can send that to someone and they'll play like how you wrote the stuff. So you can type in, for example, let's type in, I love you. And then a heart and exclamation. So this is good. If you want to send something cute to your spouse or whatever the case is, you want to, you know, you're feeling a little extra that day you can create that and then send it to them as well you have gallery so you can make a live message with just a picture that you already created which is self-explanatory for example say you have a picture of your spouse you took a portrait mode picture of them or a selfie of them you can start drawing hearts near them and say oh love of my life and you know i'm getting too cutesy on this channel oh i'm getting too cutesy now we gotta get hard we gotta get hard and then they have default live messages right here um these are just some that samsung creates and these have been the same for previous folding devices so next we have ar doodle so basically this takes your landscape of whatever is around you it's going to use your camera and then you can show draw whatever the case is whatever you want in that live setting we have spider-man right here and i'm gonna have to show it at an angle because um if i move it you won't be able to see it correctly so i drew a heart this is a live camera feed right now that heart is going to you know relatively stay in that spot so you can draw like you know somebody's body right here too and it'll stay that is pretty cool because if i move way over here you don't see anything but i come back over here look at my masterpiece so this is one of my favorite ones right here you can translate whatever language to whatever language you like so for example we're going to go to google and as you can see we have this stuff right here so all you have to do is hover over it and it will translate for me spanish is important so 
I have it translating to Spanish. Tesla translates to Tesla in Spanish. Modelo. Model is modelo. And also, you know, if you got a crush and they speak Spanish or speak another language, you can use this to really impress them. If you want to, you know, if they send you something in a different language and you're like, man, I gotta, you know, I gotta fake the funk as long as I can. I have to make it seem like I know this language. You can translate literally everything that they see. So you just hover over it. And I think you might be able to select a certain amount of text as well. Next one is Bixby Vision. You ever have a friend, you see something, you like, man, what is that? That looks so cool. So basically, this Bixby feature or Bixby Vision, Discover Vision, whatever the case is, it will allow you to search whatever that you know particular thing you have hovered over. So for this one, we are going to search for this image across the interwebs. So you just hover over it. It's analyzing, it's searching. Oh, look at this. Tesla, 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 security conference, cars to follow, Tesla, Tesla. So anything related to that image, it's going to show up. The engine that it uses is Pinterest. So I guess that's cool. I don't really use Pinterest, but let's see. Let's uh, hover over this little food right here. Let's see what shows up. More Pinterest stuff, obviously, because we're on Pinterest. So it's going to show everything Pinterest. Last but not least is this pinup option. So pinup, if, if you're a little doodler, or if you want to hand your phone off to your kid, let them kind of go crazy with it. This pinup is basically allows you to draw things, sketch things. You can see other artists' creations as well. You can do like a start to finish walkthrough of how they did their stuff. So latest live drawing. Look, again, learn to draw. So you will draw as they go. Draw as they go. So let's see. Uh, let's turn, on, turn off this Bixby vision. So you can draw as they go. They go there. Boom, play the next piece. So you just gotta keep, you just gotta keep going. And you can literally trace their entire, you know, thing and keep going from there. So I really like this. This is nice for, you know, you wanna keep your kids entertained. I like that feature. I'm a bit of a doodler, an artist myself. So I really enjoy that feature. So again, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Again, this is nothing crazy that you need to discover. This is just a walkthrough of all the S Pen uh, features and basically how to use them. And hopefully they kind of better your experience with this device because I think personally these uh, features are pretty cool. I, I must say so myself. So uh, yeah, Spidey, as always, he's giving me that sign to wrap it up. He's in my ear like let me know to shut it down. So again, thank you guys for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.